Okay, um, as promised, I've made this video for you guys. So you, uh, for those of you that are still struggling on trying to do this uh, assignment with this portrait. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, first thing you need to find is Google Drawing. Now, if you're not sure how to find that, you need to go to your drive. And if your drive is up here, you can click on it. See, mine is right there. But if it's not, if, if you get into where your uh, classes are, where you go to your classes, over on the right side is this, this waffle. It's where all the apps are. You could click on that, and then you should be able to find the drive. Your, the draw might be down here. You might get lucky, and it might even be here. But if it's not here in this, this little apps here, then go ahead and go to your drive. Your drive will be. And your drive is that little triangle shape. It says drive. Now, once you're in your drive, you go to the word new. And you're going to come down here where it says more. And then over to Google Drawings. And then you're going to click on Google Drawings. And that brings up this Google Drawing. So this is what you have here. And now what you want to do is you want to get a picture on here. For this practice one, it could be anything. I would go ahead and, and title it so just so it's easier for you to find later and call it practice. And now you're going to insert a picture two ways. You can go right here where it says insert, image, search the web. That's one way. And the other way is right here. This little looks like mountains. That's insert image. So you can do that. It takes you to the same thing. It's a little quicker. Search, search the web. We're going to search the web. And then you're going to just find a picture of somebody you like. Uh, uh, it could be a, a basketball player. It could be, let's, let's Michael, let's do Michael Jordan. Do, do, do a picture like that. And then what you do when you find the picture you want, just click on it and hit and say insert. And, and now you have that picture. Now the next thing you probably want to do is to crop it so you don't have all this excess to, to mess with. So you're going to come up here to where it says crop image. You're going to crop. And then it gives you this black. Make sure you're on the where it says that, that black frame. That's your crop frame. Make sure you're on it. And not the picture. We're not, we're not going to distort the picture. We're just cropping the picture. We're going to use the crop tool. So there, and now if you just double click, it'll, it'll crop to that. And then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and make that a bigger image to work with. Okay, so now I have this bigger image to work with. So now what you're going to do is you're going to make like puzzle pieces with it. So the way you do that, make sure you click on it and it's selected. And then you're not going to go to the crop image, you're going to go right next to it where that little triangle is and it says mask image. So you're going to click on that. And you're going to go down to shapes. You've got shapes, you've got some arrows. You might you might want to use both or some or it, it's up to you. So let's say I want to use a shape like this. This is a rounded rectangle. You might do them all in rounded rectangles. You, you may, it's up to you. You can get creative and do different shapes. I'm going to show you how to do all of them. Not all of them, but I'm going to show you some. So so see now how, how it goes rounded. But now I want to click on it, double click, so that now I get that. See, that's the, the crop mark. There is one thing I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, very important, and I just remembered it. You don't want to do this now because here's what's going to happen, and I'm going to show you what's going to – if you forget this step that I just forgot. So if I – Pull this and I want to crop that somewhere. And let's say I want, uh, let's do his ear. Let's say I want to do his ear. So I'm going to bring that and bring that up. Oops. Do that because I wanted that right there. So I'm going to crop this little piece. So double click. And there I have that little space, that little piece. But I forgot the most important step 
is I forgot to duplicate that picture because now I want to go do another section of his face and the picture's gone. So let me backtrack because that was the most important thing to remember. So before I even do that, I stretch him out, make him the size I want him. I have got to duplicate that picture. So I'm going to edit, copy, edit, paste paste that image so you always have that background i mean that you always have that one still there so now i'm going to come up here to the mask image get my shape double click so i have the the crop and then i want to pull that in to a section that i want to do maybe i'll do this eye here And then I double click and there I have his eye. Okay, so I have that. So now I've got to come back to the picture. And once again, I've got to duplicate it. Because if I don't duplicate it, remember, it'll be gone. So copy and the shortcut is is your control C and, and control V on your on your keyboard if you wanted to, to do the shortcuts. So you don't have to do it this way each time. Okay, so now I'm gonna take him over here. I'm gonna do the same thing to a different section. And if I want to use a different shape, I can. I kind of, that's kind of cool. So I can use that shape. There you go, double click. So you have that, that black outline. And see, so now you can see that. My problem is the bottom part of it, I can't see. I couldn't bring it up, can I? I have down here, I have this, uh, Stop recording that I have to push. There we go. Okay, so now let me get a section here. Yeah, let's see. Maybe yeah, I just want his mouth. So double click, and now you're left with that. Okay, so now you're going to keep doing that. So you have like a little puzzle going on. Now, once you have that, let me show you one that I've got more complete here. Let's say this one's done. Actually, it's not quite done. I still should add some more pieces. But once, once it's done, then what I want you to do is to figure out a color scheme you want to color these in. You can also color that back, your background. And... Uh, I should have colored the background before I even started. Use not the page set up. Use not document details well i think when when i started the new one is where you need to color it so um i know there's a way to do it afterwards too but i just cannot remember how to do that i'm sorry guys i just cannot remember how to do that from the from here, you know, publish document language page setup. Just can't remember how to do it. Anyway, let me show you how to change the colors of these. So you click on that, and then you see how it says format options. You're going to click on format options. You're going to come right here where it says recolor. And now you can recolor them to give different colors. You might want to stick with the color scheme, like all warm colors, cool colors. You, and then you could also, well, here, you, we can, what, another thing you can do is we could take that piece right there and you can add a border to it. 
So we're going to say border weight. I want it to be three. Uh, and then you could even change the color of that border weight. Black's kind of cool. So you could do that too. So we're going to do that three and then black because because that makes it even just a little bit more. Um, I still need to figure out how to color that background. I know how to do it when you do it. And I didn't do it at first. So that was my fault. Uh, well, one thing we can do is we can just make a big rectangle. Watch what I'm going to do. This is one way to do it. Make a big rectangle. And then change the color of that rectangle. And then send it to the back. So arrange, order, send to back. So now we've got that color in the background. So that's kind of cool. Um, when you start a brand new one, Now it's still, I, I guess that's the way you've got to do it, guys. You've, you've got to just make a big rectangle and put, take it to the back. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, and, and like I said, on the final one, when you guys do your own, you're, you're going to put some text and words in there. But this is kind of nice. I kind of like that on that red and, and with that black border. That is, that is kind of nice. That's kind of nice. So there you go. Uh, I hope this helps.